Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 302 points, about nine tenths percent, seven tenths or eight tenths for the S&P. 33 points there, 7 tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 112 points. The Russell's down 9 tenths or 16 points. Semis are off 51 bucks. They're off 1 and 4 tenths percent, so they're the big mover to the downside. Gold's off 25 bucks. That's down 1 and a quarter percent. Silver up nearly 4 percent. That's 92 pennies trading out of 23.19. Light sweet crude is up, uh, is off a dollar 48. Natural gas back 10 cents, 30 treasury. Printed out 128.07. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left-hand corner. You've got the ES Mini. Now, the ES Mini is attempting to form a new TAS market profile. The resistance level, write these numbers down in your pad of paper. 44.75 is the resistance area. It's a bearish structured profile. The center's at 44.18 and really a key level to be watching. If price were to close below 44.18 today, not 44.17, you kind of know what I mean. Well, then that would suggest that price will push its way down to the bottom of that new profile and that's at 43.62. Spot volatilities have been rising over the last couple of days, but it's still well below its 50-day exponential moving average that gives a little bit of an edge to the buyers. The NQ also attempting to form a new profile as well. These are numbers you want to have on your pad of paper. Why? Because on this retracement or pullback that we've got, if this is more than a pullback, we will see price close below the bottom of this profile. Now, this profile will not be confirmed until this evening, but we'll be able to confirm that tomorrow during the show. But 14,950 is the level to be watching on a move to the downside. This is also a bearish structured profile. Resistance at 15,370, the center at 15,265. That's the key level to be watching at today. Days close. U.S. dollar index also forming a new profile or attempting to. It's already trading above the top of that profile, so I don't know if it will take hold. But 102.28 is the number you close above that. In essence, if that profile takes hold, suggest a further move higher. Now, Goldilocks is testing the uh, swing point area that it generated a couple of days ago. I don't have the volume on this at this stage here. Price is trading below the bottom of its profile. It has been tested over the last couple of weeks numerous times. It is always held by day's end. So watch 1955.30. If we get a close below that, that may be signaling something else to us. In the case of silver, big pullback today. It should find support at 22.92. Lights we crew consolidate with inside its daily profile as is natural gas and a 30 year treasury likely going to go target the highs from June the 1st up at 129.16. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to